Hey guys and welcome back. It's Yoshi Speed 405 by Yoshi Marimoto. And today we are going to feature something pretty interesting. So we got a backpack blower and a leaf blower. Okay, so this is an Echo PB2520 and this is the PB755 uh, STSH or SHST, whatever. Um, so this one right here was... Uh, 190 minus the $30 discount from clearance in April and so it came out to be like 180 and some change and this guy right here all right and you won't believe this so this is pretty much brand new um I started it and put the gas in and you know put it together um, I bought a pair of lightning, or I'm sorry, Thunder Force. And, uh, from a thrift store for like 10 bucks, brand new in box. People were sleeping on this deal. So anyways, uh, I met a guy named Troy. Got into a thing of whether or not we were going to, uh, trade or purchase. And so I traded the Thunder uh, 4 size 12 for this plus 50 bucks, which I thought was a great deal. Uh, he thought it was a great deal. Uh, so he got a pair of Thunders that were like $230 with tax and uh, 50 bucks added. So I got a $499.99 uh, deep blower. And uh, so anyways, so I purchased this guy first. And uh, in order to start it, you have to pull this guy off, pull this cover off, and you know how you're supposed to start with the choke on. Well, you have to put that down. You gotta put that about 10 times for the primer. And then like where you got your hand at right here, on this side, you get to rip your fingernail off right here. Um, that was a piss poor design uh, from Echo. And so anyways, but it took me a while to figure out why the uh, thing wasn't going to start. Um, which, you know, same thing with my Ranger. But I was already past the 30 days and the 60 days when I went to go use this. So um, don't buy your equipment on clearance because there's a reason why behind it. Um, Home Depot was actually going to... Um, battery powered anyways so this I was like I didn't want to spend $4.99.99 on a backpack blower and go out of my way to go get it so I bought this guy and I just wanted to see how it was going to go um so anyways at the end of the day um I bought this I bought my weed whacker slash it's an echo I think 225 and then I bought my uh, my edger and so that goes under this guy right here. And then my backpack, well, I'll have a guy over on the other side over here um, to put that on there. Uh, maybe stainless bolts, but these are grade eight. As of right now, I'll have to change those to the stainless once we get a little bit further in depth. Um, I made this at my previous employment along with these bed posts. So this goes all the way to the corner, welded and bolted into the uh, toolbox and then bolted to the toolbox. And then that bracket is again welded in the corners. And then this is bolted into a toolbox. So think of this as a cover, a hole in the middle there's a square end on that side that you can put the bolt in and it just bolts in. Got my bed post that I made. So here's my square. There's my bolt. Don't mind the mess. My bolt going in. So this this bed post right here, this bed right here, oops. Um cost me 
200 and I think $25 and then I had to buy all the bolts um, that was like another 70 bucks or no not 70 bucks uh, 60 bucks or whatever um, and obviously I went with the wrong one so it is what it is um, the bed posts these guys right here that go down all the way through and bolted on the other side um, that cost me $50 it's just uh, tool steel um, so it's reinforced and ain't going anywhere and shaking the whole truck um, that's trailer racks three posts um, cost me I think $199 so from from this point down here I have my steel trimmer that I paid a hundred bucks for my echo I think that was like two two hundred and ten dollars for the weed whacker 165 for the um, uh, edger this was 200 bucks and this was 60 bucks best investment I've made was this guy right here alone um, so keep it that in mind um uh, i have a a system that's going to go in here it's going to bolt into there and well technically uh there'll be a bracket that bolts right here um then it'll fold down and then the ramp will come down to the crown so then i could bring a uh the 30 i think 30 32 or 34 inch in between the, the bed po or the bed uh, which is a stand-up uh, rider so a little bit low cost budget friendly um, so we are at what a thousand bucks let's see two four six eight a thousand thousand sixty uh, mm, what let's let's say about eleven hundred dollars into just the setup uh, truck I already had um, another thirty dollars into the logo um, that I put on myself. I got another logo on the back side. I'll put something over here for the um, tell what division this is. So I'll put something in the rear mirror or rear window, and then I'll put something on the tailgate. Uh, so and then. Nothing on that side, of course, besides on the logo on the other side. Which this one turned out way better than the other one. So, but that's, and so like this right here should have went over a little bit, but for what it is, it's, it's fine with me. So, a couple bucks spent. Um, on that, I'm, I'm pretty much going to get rid of this guy. Uh, does it, it's not cost effective enough to keep it for the amount of time that you have to do this to start it up, pull that off, choke down, prime that thing like 10 times, and then you have to put the cover back on so nothing goes in the carburetor, and then you close that up. That's just too much time. And then you got to wear your gloves. So that you don't rip your nail off right here or right here. It's crazy. So this one right here, prime that up. It's it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, look at that, brand new. I cranked it up one time just to make sure it worked. And I only used the uh, Red Max. Or the red armor or whatever. Oops, let's put that on right. So, anyways, uh, I used the red armor on for the for the fuel, and uh, yeah, it's not bad. So, like I said. Yeah, put your foot down over here. You, know, you just crank it one, crank it twice, and then it just starts going where this one, you gotta pull like five times. 
five or ten times. And then you gotta prime it in, in between. Um, and sometimes it won't even start like that. You have to crank that over and you know that it says stop. It's, you have to go like that and then keep pulling sometimes. So it's, it's not a good idea. But, and then I just gotta tighten this guy so it don't move. I'm just still trying to figure out where I want to put that at, but anyways, yeah. So another 200, I think $230 will put my backpack right there, and uh, yeah. So, uh, this summer's actually been profitable on it, so besides, uh, you know, wear and tear on the vehicle. So, we'll... Uh, Keep guys informed on our next purchases and and where we're gonna go next but you know being the entrepreneur that I am this is a great buy hey guys welcome back it's your speed 45 by Yoshi Morimoto and we are going over this nice wonderful leaf blower and the bag over there so I'll show you what we'd have to do to start the sucker up That was one start on a cold motor without priming. <laughs> Unbelievable. This guy. Now normally I have to take off the the air cover. And from the previous video, take this off, prime it up another ten more times, and then rip it like five or six times. And then put the cover back on. So maybe maybe the kinks were worked out I don't know but it was a, a lot of waste a lot of time it is hot out so and it's just crazy and let me turn this off and here we are look at those nice fresh edges done with our edger and then the neighbor they have theirs uh, I should have showed you the before and after but she had all this grass and stuff in right there so we got all that in here how you doing so got our edges all taken care of so got our got our landfill back over from over here from all this dirt that we had over here so we got a little bit right there. Blew it all the way down, blew it into the grass. So we got dirt clumps over here, but it'll be all right. It's gonna rain here soon, so. But yeah, and then all this brown stuff right here, this is all that dead from over here. So this looks way better. It looks very professional without the grass clumps in the way. Uh, normally we just grab a shovel and grab it, but since it is what it is, so. But yeah, look at that edge. Look at that crisp edge. So, 
that's the type of work we would like to do. But anyways, uh, so back to that leaf blower. Look at those lines. Look how flat he's got that. So, uh, it's gonna rain here soon, so uh, we're Trent coming in so we just got this taken care of so I gotta put my leaf blower back it's Morimoto's lawn care so MLC so, so yeah normally this guy right here is like 20 ribs and I had to pull off that and whatever that one right there that was 60 bucks this was 200 $60 runs every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So, anyways, it's gonna start pouring. I gotta get this equipment back inside so it don't get rained on. And uh, it's Yoshi P455 by Yoshimori Moto.